hustling, making money till I stop kicking. Source. Welcome to my channel where I show you what you get. Source. To the military vets, thanks for what you do. Now catch blind pickers on Fit Park. Yo, welcome everybody to my channel, Blind Picking. I'm Ugo. This channel is dedicated to picking, sourcing, and making money while you sleep. If that sounds good to you, please keep watching the video. I'd like to give a shout out to all my military men and women out there, veterans, serving. Thank you for what you do. I appreciate you serving. And I know the hard work you put in. And a salute to you. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifica notification button. And for my first 10 subscribers, I'm going to go sourcing just for you and send you guys out something very, very nice. If you like it, let's go to my store and let's see what we got going on. And I'm going to show you all my great items. Let's go. What's up, guys? Before we get to the main video, I just wanted to share with you what I've sold tonight. I shipped out a couple of orders earlier on during the day and I should have recorded it. But... These are the orders that just came in tonight. I just wanted to kind of share with you. The first one here is a big giant beer bottle. They are um, holiday themed. And I just want to blow it up right here to show you guys. And excuse it's the stuff around the screen. I'm blind, so I have to have several instruments to kind of help me uh, navigate the screen. And uh, right here. So I actually sold this uh, twenty-four dollars with no offer, and I think this is on sale. But regardless, twenty-four dollars. I paid about three or four dollars for it from a garage sale. Next item. Let's see. It was a recipe book that we picked up from a Goodwill bins. Shout out to the Goodwill bins. I love that place. Uh. Like I said, I've only been doing this nine months, and there was bumps along the road, and I'm going to share that with you in future episodes, the do's and don'ts uh, when starting thrifting. And we bought this book about 50 cents or less, and we sold it for about $55. All the sold cons, people are selling at about 80, signed at about 100. So if you see this recipe book, pick it up. It's worth money. Hey guys, this is our first stop at Goodwill here in Houston, Texas. And say hi to my lovely assistant. Say hi, Mel. Hello. She's going to help me navigate this store and hopefully we can find some good treasures in here. Let's go. Here we go. We're now in the store. And sorry guys, um, I thought I was recording actually, you know, when you can't see, you always think you're doing something. But I did not get any usable footage from my phone, but my assistant was able to catch a lot of stuff. And she's going to kind of guide us and tell us um, what, she, what she found. Okay, so earlier I had found that Audrey Hepburn poster, but it was a bit expensive. It was around $12.99. And I knew shipping would be a lot, so I decided not to take it. Here I am just looking at this VCR, trying to see if it works. I had plugged it in, but when I had tested it out, it wasn't playing any of the tape. And usually you can tell if it plays or not because the numbers will start going up. And please make sure you check the electronics before you leave the store. Yes, because Goodwill does have a policy where they will not return or exchange and it's sold as is so i always make sure the electronics work before we buy it and what's next well now i'm looking at this cassette dvd combo and i was also testing it out to make sure that it works um but the cassette section was a bit old and dusty so i decided not to take that either and you guys also check out our store, 5th Park Avenue on eBay. We specialize in collectibles, but we have a mixture of different everything. Go ahead, Mel. Right here, I'm looking at the golf clubs, trying to see if I find any titlis or 
Oh yeah, always look at the golf clubs. Last time we found a Scotty, I forgot the last Scotty name. Cameron. Scotty Titless. Cameron. Mm-hmm. And it was, I believe it was signed by Scotty Cameron as well. And I had sold it for about two hundred and twenty-two dollars. Two hundred and twenty-two dollars, and I only bought it for three ninety-nine, three dollars and ninety-nine cents. So that was a big steal. That was a good pickup. Right here, it's just kind of panning over the books. This is my first find, the Stephen King audiobook of Mindful Things, which was the first item that I instantly saw in the book section. And, and if you I, guys see anything you like on here, please hit us up on our um, email blindpicking at gmail.com or fifthparkavenue at gmail.com and uh, we can work something out. Let us know. Next, I end up finding these two Stephen King books which range about $30 uh, for selling. I only bought them for I believe about $3.99 each. That was a good pick. And we've been looking for Stephen King books. Yes, every single time I go to a Goodwill, I look for that. And then also, this Goodwill did not have too much in it. That's not the case for every Goodwill. We just went to San Antonio, and we found a Goodwill that had crazy amount of items. And I'll be showing you guys on the next video. Okay, right here, Blind Picking is looking through the cups. And I guess he found... Home Depot cup. Something... Oh, here it is. So he found this Home Depot jug. You want to talk about it? Oh, it was real nice. It's clean, brand new. I love to pick up uh, mugs. I go crazy all the time. So um, if you like it, go to the store, pick it up, let us know. Give us a shout out. And, and if you buy something from the store, we'll give you a shout out in the videos. So yes, here he's just looking at other cups as well, trying to see if there's any Starbucks cups. Uh, last time I found a Starbucks shot cup that sells roughly around twenty to thirty dollars with shipping, and I only bought it for a dollar. Now, how do I look in my helicopter hat? Is that what I'm wearing? Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I think people were looking at me in the store. My son was telling me that when. He walked into the store. You can see his helicopter hat. Shout out. I love different hats. So if you have any weird hats out there and you want me to wear it, wear the hat on the video, give me a shout out. You can send it to me. I'm going to give you my P.O. Box address and uh, maybe uh, I'll show it in a future episode. It was a very unique hat. <laughs> what, is, what else is this? What do we have? Right now... I'm just panning through the aisles, getting this really nice shot right here. And guys, look through everything at Goodwill because you never know what item is worth money. I like to, we like to um, get items that's going to sell at least $30 and above. Well, first we look at items that are interesting and stand out to us. And then we put it in our cart and then we look it up on eBay to see if it's selling. And if it's not selling, we put it back. And if it is selling, then we keep it. At least more than four a month It's our general rule of thumb. Because in the beginning, we made a lot of mistakes at the Goodwill bin. We made our money, but we bought too many crap, too much crap. And uh, a lot of it were was unusable. And we'll, we're still debating on whether or not to re-donate them or just hold on to them. Yes, we bought a lot of clothes that weren't name brand and weren't worth anything. <laughs> okay, right here, I actually found this really cool wallet. It is a collage of 1950s magazines. The inside is very simple though, and I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it would be worth something, so I had picked it up. You know what? Isn't it crazy how sometimes we go into Goodwill and we think that all the stuff has has been picked through, 
but the things people overlook is always the items that's worth money. Of course. It happens a lot. Actually, right here is where I find a bin. So it's always a good idea to look at these bins that they bring out because sometimes you will find gems in them. So they had left this here and I was just kind of looking through to see if I could find anything. I didn't though, so I panned out. Hey guys, and some of you are probably wondering how, if I'm blind, how I, I'm i able to pick. It's pretty much easy. I use my hand a lot, so I've touched enough items so I <laughs> know what's what. Uh, sometimes I can't read, I can't see names, so my assistant helps me out with those things. So just to put that in there. What else do you see? When I was just panning through clothing, I actually head back towards the electronics to try and see if I find anything. I didn't go through this way, so I made my way back. Let me you know, I, I just want to tell everyone, last year we started doing this business in August. And from August to December, we did about $4,000 in sales. Um, I know that's not great numbers, but that was just our beginning. We didn't know what to do. Even till now, we're still tweaking, and our three months average now, we're almost um, about to hit 4,000, so hof hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll be uh, rocking it. I think for a relatively early store, we're doing pretty good. We've definitely found our niche. Mm -hmm. We... Uh, we found out what to sell and what not to sell. So we found out what to pick and what not to pick at the stores. Right and also, now. And also, don't be discouraged when you first start this business. It will pick up. Uh, just watch of another course. video. So see how eBay works. The algorithm, they call it. And it really does work. I had picked up this Apollo 13 VHS thinking that it was worth something. Wait, was that a horror one? Is that the horror movie one? I know there's an Apollo 13 horror movie. Yes, Apollo 13 VHS. I believe I keep it. I also found this Pride and Prejudice VHS set that I was going to pick up, but it was priced at $20, and it was not worth it. Literally and that's another priced. thing, guys. Don't don't pay overpay at Goodwill, because I noticed lately they, they've been hiring these managers who think... They know the prices of things, and they just keep overpricing stuff. Don't overpay. Buy low, sell high. I also found this Batman VHS, which I picked up as well. The three VHSs that I picked up were selling, so I decided I to Batman. keep them. I had taken screenshots of what they were worth, but I will keep the value of them into the video. So now this is just all of our goodies and we are heading out to check out. Uh, we found a lot of good things. I found VHSs, Stephen King books. We found some Nerf guns. One more thing, you know, you guys might be wondering also, why are we buying VHSs? VHS sells. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you can find the right one, people want them. They are in demand. Blank VHS. Thank you for watching. Follow my store on eBay. Hit the park at Like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Show you what you get to the military best. Thanks for what you do. Now catch blind pickers on Fit Park Avenue.